<laughs> the rhythm of this podcast is great. There's a question asked, two words of an answer, an interruption, and then a sex joke. <laughs> That's actually it's I'm, I'm, great. That's how I produced it. I have it like. <laughs> so and Stuart, I've known for a long time, and he is a junker. You know, you know the junker is. Okay. I yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't know this. I'm I didn't sure know there's there was... multiple TV shows yeah. about something well, like that. Well, I don't know if junker is the right word. Is junker the right word? I don't know. You clean up dusty old shit, yeah. and then it looks real pretty. I again. I, I, I uh, when I'm on a long drive. And it's I need to get out of my car because my muscles are locking up. Mm -hmm. Then I go to a weird place and walk around and I just look at shit. And then sometimes I'll go, whoa, what the hell is that? And then I'll look at the price tag and if it's reasonable, then I'll buy it. And so over a 25 year, you know, period, my house is full of weird shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't collect anything. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> oh. That's a very I, I used to be able to do that too. Yeah, I am in a relationship, and um, did you have to get rid of all your stuff? I had to just stop uh, bringing a lot in. Well, we moved in together, and she was like, "You have a lot of stuff," and I was like, "I don't have a lot of stuff." And then I started moving stuff, and I was like, "I have a lot of stuff." Right. So I had to make the I made the call on my own because she was like, "If you can fit it," and I just couldn't. So. <laughs> so did, you, did it cause you, to, what, you, know, cause you to shrink down and, and like, like have like yeah, a best pick, of? Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. the of. best of my junk. Yes. I am right there, Nick. Like, it is to the point now in my house, I have a wife and I have two kids and it is like, we yeah. can't really fit anything else in here. But yeah. I've seen like some of the stuff because we he has a pot he had a podcast Stuart Huff's obsessive curiosities where basically he's going to do what he's going to do here which is pull out some of this crap that he finds stuff yes yeah, the stuff that he finds collectibles art that he thank finds, you collects. I'm not offended by crap and, and, and <laughs> <laughs> I am and uh <laughs> and I sort of have, uh, and so he has a and we would he would pull these out and have great stories do you, do you have like when you would collect would you what would what was your what would grab your eye? What would make you buy it? Would you have a? Sometimes it would, ha um, it would just it just sticks it sticks out because you go to those places and there's stuff everywhere, you know. But then you'll see something that like it kind of excites you and like creeps you out. I like you know like not creep you out, but you're like, whoa! I don't. Why does this exist? That's usually my first thing. It's like, why does this even exist? <laughs> yeah. Why like does this question. exist? Is a I love when yeah. I feel that. Who and the <laughs> hell thought this was a good idea? Right, yeah. And how much is it? Yeah. I think that's the step for me. Like the the step of, oh, this is really cool. I, uh, why would somebody make this? Weird. I'll take a picture of it, look it up. I'm not going to be like, I need to bring this home and put it with the stack of other crap just like this that I have filling. <laughs> <laughs> filling that. But I, but it, like when I see the pictures of your house and the things that like I I think like your son has it made like he has a a constant stories of things of like ah there's a stuffed armadillo and oh, if I if I climb on no, this chicks thing think stuffed armadillos are hot yeah, so I'm like sure that. his son's killing it dead stuff is <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. no <laughs> no <laughs> no but you know not a stuffed armadillo may be pushing it but I, I'm well, not, I'm I've not, got a couple of them yeah of yikes. <laughs> Yeah, and he's and then all this cool different art. That I've never killed like an animal. I always say that I've never killed an animal. I've never been hunting, but once someone else has, then it's fair game, to me. So if it, you know, like taxidermy, I met a guy in Michigan, whose uh, hobby, the thing that he always loved was taxidermy, okay, and his job was picking up roadkill for the state of Michigan. Bingo, perfect combination. Mm -hmm. So he, if the, if the possum was ran over, like, <laughs> on the back Just end. Just right. Yeah, then he would taxidermy the front end. If it was hit in the, in the head, then he'd taxidermy the ass. And then would he build them okay. and put them together? I, he had a bunch. Would he put them together? Frank That's a good-ass question. He had, a, good ass question. He had a bunch. He had a, Make yeah. bookends. So taxidermy I have. Taxidermy bookends. <laughs> See? That's a good idea. That's good. See, this is what I'm talking about. It always starts with Stuart has the stupid crap, and then that's a great idea. That is it. a good taxidermy bookend. Sure. 
That I sounds have, like something you would own. For oh, if he made them, yeah. I have about <laughs> six just arms, just like possum and raccoon arms. That that was the only thing left that was worth taxidermy. Was just bear arm. <laughs> I have a tail, you have possum the right tail. To bear arm. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> do you have a button that says edit? Or do you? <laughs> do you So, uh, I want you to, what do you got? What do you got? Um, all right, let's do this. Transition. Okay. Don't show us, make us guess. Okay, it, <laughs> it's got a, mm. I'm gonna show it to you and then I'll read it. Okay. What, oh. what I, Cause you can figure, it gives it away, I think, when you look at it, what it is. Do you see, can you see it? It's, yeah. Marietta Gordon. Oh, so now you're, why are you reading it? I'm, it? I can't yeah. figure out what I, it is. I'm like, it I looks, thought it was like a nest at It first. looks like a lot of those pollen but. things squished together and then some random dried up. And the framing, and the it's like, mm. it's a sea weird urchin? box. Is too. it a sea urchin? Marietta Gordon. It's a you weird, read it, Tom. It's a weird I'm frame. Not it. I'm, not, it I'm looks, trying to get Tom to read it because <laughs> I need to figure out it what says, it is. It uh, says, Marietta Gordon died September 30th. <laughs> Okay, come on here, peace. 58. Oh, yeah. Mm. Age 19 years and nine months. Oh. 19 Ooh. years and nine months. To die is gain. Okay, come on, Marietta. Okay. She a thug. That's a thug-ass hairpiece in that. What is, turn it back around. No, it's not, it. You're close, but it's not a hairpiece. Is it like her possessions? No. Shoved together. It does look like, it. it does look, here you go. It kind of looks like. Oh my God! Is it her chitlins? It's her, it's her chitlins. It's her dried what's, her, up chitlins. what's chitlins? Ooh, what, what, is it her hair? It's the inhouse, yes. Baby. Yeah, it's her hair. Oh my. Yeah, this is a keeper. Have you seen that? <laughs> Have you seen that before? That's a keeper, Nick. Hair? No, not in like this way. Like, Was it white when you bought it, or did it gray on its own? It's it's called hair art. It's 18th century, 19th century when photography came into existence it started to kind of they started not doing it as much but the death rate was so high especially with children that you had to have some way of remembering Aww. your children so they would literally cut the hair off and you could go to a jeweler and they would they would like under a microscope like be able to craft things with human hair and then you would frame them no taxidermy on the babies. No taxidermy right. on the no, babies. No. could have just done taxidermy and you kept your baby. Yeah. Here's another So one. maybe I misunderstood the age. Is it 19 months or 19 years? This one's 19 years, it said. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so. I mean, and they would do it for, you know, 80-year-old people. Oh, the little ornaments are the hair piece. Yes, that's oh. the actual hair of the person that of died. Of the human being that died? Yes. Okay. Hold yeah. it up, Dara. Does hair continue to grow after you oh die? My. I don't n know, but I think <laughs> fingernails and hair. But is it is it actually growing or is everything shrinking Maybe around? Maybe not. Once it? I the think light. it's shrinking around it. Yeah. Is that right? I think so. Oh yeah. Okay. Because it's like then you get some hair that you didn't get when they were alive. You know what I mean? It's like you yeah. get a piece of them lived on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom is like. You know, no. we're gathered here. Let that little boy rest. Well, <laughs> yeah, you don't, don't need Simmons messing up his. I don't know if I'd want my kids. Uh, it's not true because I have some hair of his from when he was little, but I don't. It's just crazy the designs they get. There, I mean, Would some of it is literally like you're looking at it and it's, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. There's yes. some, some true artists that did this, that you could make an actual like rose and it looks like a rose. All of this is hair? All of that in there is All hair? that's hair. And they could make the actual stems <laughs> and everything out of hair. How'd she have so many different colored hairs all in one head? Well, that's another thing that, th there's all kinds of different ways that they did it. She was in between dads. Here died Marietta right. Gordon, uh, September 30th, 1958. <laughs> the the uh, carpet did not match the drapes. Okay. Oh so here's the one. Okay, Marietta. <laughs> Let them know, Marietta. She's got three different hair colors. <laughs> Use all my hair. Use it um, all. <laughs> <laughs> Some, there's all different types. Some families would, if you lost a child or, or whoever, then the family would actually cut some of your hair 
and add it, and then it would be like a whole family remembrance uh -huh. type of situation. Can you I like boy? how you're jiggling the frame like <laughs> you do you your notes. Yes, I can't. yes, he is. When did they stop doing the hair thing? That's what I want to know. Uh, like that one that you're looking at right there with the picture was it? That's kind of an overlap thing where they were. Once photography came in, then it started to kind of. Oh stop. yeah, okay. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, once you had a way of remembering. Yeah, so it's like instead of, like once you could have a picture of them to remember them rather mm -hmm. than like parts right. of them. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, this is better. And people this were like immediately better. like, this is better. Yeah. <laughs> so much better. Than right. <laughs> than actually having pieces of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, I want to know where they're, where they're acclaimed hair artists. Yeah, they're called hairdressers. Mm -hmm. uh. um, from, from what I've read, <laughs> I mean, some of this stuff was very expensive. And a lot of it, human behavior, you know, is pathetic. It really became like a trophy kind of thing like oh. if you like the, i've seen i have two at home that i didn't bring because they're just really big they're wreaths they're literally a wreath of hair and if you had that in your home then that's more prestigious that's mm. you had money to be able to do something like that she lived long Weird. enough to grow that hair that long you know what i'm saying you can't make a wreath out of a baby's hair no, it's but it, a, it, a lot of times it would be the whole thing. You let it die, and then the hair keeps growing. Hair I'm doesn't sure keep growing. They just, we just, to make we just, a little we just said it's because it shrinks. You're, it's not, you're not growing <laughs> hair. The rest of you is shrinking. A baby, how much do they really have left to shrink? You know what I'm saying? Like their hair's, how much hair are you going to get? You know? You can um, skin them you know? and then strip the skin. Then your flower has a bulge like hair. <laughs> has a soft spot. See, uh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> The babies have a soft spot. So Dara has been away from her kids for like five minutes, and she's no. already like. There's <laughs> gonna be a <laughs> lot of cancel Christmas cuts in this. Do you, do you? Would you do this with your with your? Like, could they bring this back? Where, if your kid dies, I feel like you'll do some crazy shit like that. Yeah. It's like I'm keeping her hair. They should do this. I, with, uh, they should do this with pets. Yeah. Some people do. I'm, so, I'm sick of the Not baby hair, and but. human equation. I mean, the the pet and human equation. <laughs> Really? They're Why? not. It's not the same, dude. It's you're not saying the a, same. You're saying having a puppy is not at all like having a baby. The sentiment. Uh, you're mm -hmm. saying people don't love their pets. This is coming from someone no, who had I'm a baby. No, I'm not come saying that. No, home, I so. have. I have my dog's dust in a box on the mantle. But when my kid dies, I'm probably gonna be in a cuckoo house. Okay. I can look at my dead dog's box and be like, <laughs> "Damn, dog, I miss you." But my kid is gonna fuck me up. <laughs> Not like, oh, let me put in a barrette and then put it in a frame and then yeah. put your birthday at the bottom. <laughs> I agree. I'm going to put that money towards counseling. Nineteen is like an adult. Though, killed your child? Then. Next question. Not, what was like, the not, question? Because, uh, not because you were mad at them or anything like that. Like, or just like you were like, no, oh I have, my no. God. Life, their life just flashed before my eyes. No. What was the question you just asked? Did I almost ever kill my baby? <laughs> I think that's a, a legit question. question. It's a good question, yeah. actually. You're talking about accidentally or on purpose? It just happened around you? or He's asking you? accidentally. Yeah. Oh, thank God. All right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about it's you? It's early no, in Not the on purpose. I do have a flash of a time where my son was hanging on a, a like a pull-up bar or whatever that he mm -hmm. would play on, and he was little, right? And he was hanging on this pull-up bar and swinging. And I came down the hallway and did like a, took a step and like went through him and grabbed him, mm -hmm. right? And then I started to stumble. Oh, no. And oh, I was no. one stumble away from falling oh, with him and oh, my no, head, like, no, no, like no, this no. Mm -hmm. into a stone mantle of the, or a stone like wreath of the fireplace, or whatever it's mm -hmm, called, the, mm -hmm. around the fireplace, which would have just crushed him, his back or his head or whatever. Yeah. And it was like, wow. I can still like feel that like, yeah. oh, that almost happened. Yeah. yeah. I don't so have anything that dramatic. The, only, the no. closest I come is I was holding him. He was sick and he threw up like crazy all over me and I was barefoot and just throw it. And I started, you know, <laughs> I literally just like, uh, started slipping everywhere. This yeah. feels like a, like a Ben Stiller movie. Yeah. yeah it was very Meet much. the fuckers. Yeah. It was. I like that too much. <laughs> I love a uh, 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 I love any kind. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And now it's like uh, a baby peril. Yeah, and so you almost went down. Would you have gone down on your back, or would you have gone face first into the puke with the kid? Gravity well, I think, decides to. I think it true. was the first time I realized that, that that there is that instinct, 
you know, like mm -hmm. to protect your child. Yeah. Because I obviously didn't think about anything. I was just going down, uh, you know, just going down. Mm -hmm. And I did shift so I would fall on my back. Right. But yeah. I wasn't thinking. Oh, you went down. You no, went I mean, I didn't go down hard. I, I went down like where I, I like, I mean, I'm literally covered in puke. So I, he, he's a baby. <laughs> so he's all slippery and slidey anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going Squirmy. down and I moved him so then I could put a hand back and brace myself and I didn't fall. Okay. But I do, I, I told my wife, I said, I get, you know, I guess that is an instinct because mm -hmm. normally if, if I wasn't holding him, I would have gone face forward. I had to adjust quickly to make sure I wasn't going to fall. And you face didn't really forward. think about it. You just did it. I just did it. Doesn't mean I'm a good dad. It means I didn't crush him. Right. No, but I'm curious if there was like, if there's now a renowned hair artist, like if you, with your other junkers, if you find a place online where like people collect hair art, right? Well, see, that's Are the they thing. looking for like. Simpkins oh, in yeah. 49 oh, or whatever? Now, yeah. Oh, no, I don't oh, know about that. Oh, like sp specific artists. Yeah, like okay. this is an yeah. artist. So Collectors. some people had to be great at it, and other people were like, eh. what are you, an open mic at this? Eh. What is this? <laughs> I don't and know. And they draw them and <laughs> I don't out, know like, about that. Like tattoo artists have like a, like they make the art, and then they turn it in and can like, you, can you make this? Or I'm just, I, it's, From what, I, I mean, this is I, the kind of questions I, I have about this. I, stuff. when I find stuff that I like, the first time I saw hair art, I was like, what is that? And I got to get real close to realize that's human hair. And I had never heard of this. Mm -hmm. So I Googled human hair, whatever I Googled to realize, <laughs> oh, 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 wow. This is like pre-photography, child dies, you know, grandparent dies, whatever. And so I was, I became very interested in it. And, uh, but I don't like find out who's good at it. I don't care enough about, I don't collect. If I see hair art now, I'll, I'll be like, oh, hair art. And I'll go over there and look at it. And if I really like it, then I'll look at the price. Mm. And they're very expensive. So it's not like, a, oh, he's the Monet of hair art. I don't know. Monet. I mean, there probably is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do you know what I mean? There probably is like that, but I don't care who was good or bad. I care I, whether I like it How did you look at this and think that's human hair? What would you? I, the first one, I mean, I've probably spent 20 years or so since I bought my first one. And I just remember, like, passing it in a junk shop and being like, what's that? And just walk. And then going back, like, what is that? And getting closer like you did with, like, is that this or that? And, and I had to get real close and realize, that's hair. That's hair. I don't know what this is, but that's hair. And then I actually talked to the person that owned the shop or whatever and they knew a little, and I Googled and learned more. And are those people ever like odd characters? Oh, oh, Tom, are they normal? That's, That's <laughs> they're always wonderfully. Of course, freaks. I think I asked that. They have to be. It has to be just they're like the, I live like upstairs. I, like <laughs> <laughs> I lick all of the frames when the lights go out. <laughs> I put I some of my it. hair in there. <laughs> right. I like to dust it with the end of my ponytail. <laughs> My wife, uh, Nick, is like, I think we're done. Like, no, my what? wife and I, well, my wife and I are not done. But until, I don't know, I'm, a t I'm an aster today. But I think we're done with junk. Like, she's, yeah. she's oh, okay. like, this oh, he is didn't enough. Finish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a big. Enough. I really, I brought, I brought these hair pieces to really talk about my upcoming right. divorce. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but like the the hair stuff, she doesn't. It doesn't bother her. She thinks it's pretty. That's nice. Um, like actual photographs of of dead babies, she doesn't want those in the house. Hmm, I wonder why. And I changed. Every picture of a baby from this long ago is a dead baby. Well, <laughs> but that <laughs> right? Yeah, I like that. But that one's sitting upright. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. What do you mean pictures of dead babies? When photography was at the beginning and they stopped doing hair art, they would actually take a, p a photograph of, of the, the dead, dead person. Baby? Yeah. And the, uh, the baby, the child, the adult, the, the, it was very common. Legalized they would, taxidermy on babies, <laughs> that's what They I would take a picture of you to remember you by. Oh, that's gonna be rough, like you're a grieving family and it's those big bulb ones too, so you're like, oh, and then the <laughs> yeah, and they would. Nice they actually had special chairs. <laughs> they had special chairs that they would connect the back to the. They would sit someone in. A dead person in the in oh. a chair and just. Yep. Yeah, wow. a lot so of so old they'd sit up, right? Are like that. I've heard that. Yeah, dead. Yeah. 
Got to get it before Ooh, Tommy, you're rubbing, you're rubbing your hands. I, I just, can't even I, touch that body. I, I don't know. I feel creepy. I feel like it's creepy. See, I, I like I this. Mean. This is the reason I started with the hair art, because I like to make you feel this way. <laughs> I just you picture, like squirm. would you, ha if you you lost a child, would you have a, want a picture of them post-mortem? I mean, not post-mortem, whatever that word is. Yeah. Post-mortem? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I but here's I the thing. Do it that way. But, you, but they didn't have pictures of them to begin with. And right. I have a whole, I that's have an true. old iCloud full mm. of pictures. <laughs> that's that's the thing. Yeah. I'd rather remember him when he was playing baseball than when he's, I don't even want to yeah. talk about it. I don't even yeah, want to say the creepy, words. Yeah. It's weird because no. you don't really think about that until you have a kid. And then once you have a kid, like those jokes seem yeah. more... Yeah. Real Those tiny when you, coffins are cute. Though. When you see, <laughs> yeah, when you see, <laughs> when you see a child get killed on CSI or whatever, uh -huh. you have a little bit more like. Ugh. Yeah, I will admit, like the 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 early pictures I have of dead children when my kids were born, I took them off. I mean, I still have them. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna get rid of them, but they're in a the laundry room. <laughs> you hang them up when they're pissing you off. <laughs> 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 wow, could really use another one of these. But <laughs> <laughs> I say do your homework. Right. <laughs> but here's what's interesting. If this was common now, if taking pictures of uh, deceased people was common and you were used to it, then I, I guarantee you'd do it. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you weirded out by it is that it's not uh, uh, something we do now in our culture. I wouldn't want a picture. I didn't. Uh, I'm weird. I didn't really want a picture of the... Um, the sonogram, like especially like a 3D version of it, like it was, it just like inside of them. It just mm -hmm. looks like a, it looks like a soulless. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, they're like look I at my know. little baby tater tot coming in 2003. <laughs> I've got this one. I thought this was, this is like an example of what I'm, I'm guessing is someone that couldn't afford the, because it costs money to mm -hmm. the jeweler would, you know. So I'm guessing they kind of made their own A memory. jeweler? It, that's who did it, mainly, uh, from I what mean, I've read about. I'm saying I would invest a little more in the, um, what's the thing called, what's the, what are they called, embroidery. Like, this is, this is poor no, embroidery. That, no, calm down, Mr. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> the helpless Luth, you have 29 help books. In the this, like, who writes this about their kid? The helpless youth in cheerful health plunged in the sea and met his death. Yeah. They wrote a poem. Yeah. That's a poem? In and now baby, you're judging them. Hair. That's a poem? <laughs> Sounds like just I what happened. I thought postpartum was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is what happened. He drowned. Yes, yeah. he drowned. That's how it says. He drowned but at the thing. You know. That's not. Yeah, no one it could be a metaphor for disease. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at Tom's face. That's fantastic. Ugh. Ugh. I'm a big fan of making that face <laughs> appear on you. Tom. Here, hold it up, Ugh. Tom. Somebody cried while they weaved their yeah. dead baby's hair into yes. that. Everything about just this is for terrible. you to everything about years this. Later, terrible. So that, it's terrible. Terrible. Look, I, the, the, that is the smallest piece of hair that no, looks like they they drug him out dead. By that from point. the sea they by his hair <laughs> and this is what they accidentally pulled out hey they right. took because that piece of hair out, out of the shark's teeth they had to pick it out <laughs> that's right just to have a memory and you're over here you know 150 years later ragging on them too soon Tom. 1870 Jeez. it's not too soon it's there's too actual soon. 1870 i do the, like the comparison of that one and that one yes it's like kind of the same thing but just I don't know that if I'm right. So poor. I'm saying this artist yeah, didn't that was... go on to acclaim. No. Nah. God, Marty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to start calling you Tom Kardashian. Listen, Nick, would you buy that? Turn around, Tom. I would. Yeah, I'd buy it. You'd buy this one? I'd buy that one over that one. Before this one. Oh, yeah. I could. That's. So you'd buy the one about the death and the sea. Yeah, first. more details. Oh, because, that they're, because there's the reason why they died. Yeah, I like that. That one's cool. Huh. How much? How much is that? You why you would it? buy? Is that why you bought it? Because the details of the death. I like the the details of the death. I also like the fact that I'm assuming what, is, that's crochet. What I'm not can't remember. Is that needlepoint? I don't needle remember. How much would you pay yeah. for it, Nick? For what? For the 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 dead death. baby poem. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Fifty. I paid Fifty, 50 bucks. bucks. Fifty. I bet 50 if you bucks. offered him twenty-five right now, he'd give it to you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it for twenty-five. 
Fifty bucks, <laughs> maybe though. You'd but fifty right. bucks. It might I, be I, for I sale. Like, I like Nick. But, <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: you I can't mean, afford it, kid. <laughs> right. I don't. Let's I couldn't bring that home though. You're you're they squandering a deal right now. This is it doesn't make right the cut the over what you already have. Like if you see something like this that you're like that's better than my worst thing. Yeah. Would you buy this as a replacement and then get rid of the other? I'd replace. There's like two things I would replace that with. I think. What are they? Um. It's cats. One's. <laughs> uh, one is my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> no, she's amazing. All right, Um, I have a. Uh, I have this old bobblehead that I've kind of just been wanting to pawn off for a while. Bobblehead burning a hole in it. It's like an old, old <laughs> bobblehead. What or is it? Cincinnati Reds? The bobblehead no. holes. It's like a, it's just like a, it's just like a man, but it's like, it's almost like whittled, like a whittled looking huh. bobblehead. Hmm. I'm kind of liking this. You more talking about maybe working a trade? Yeah, maybe <laughs> you can get a details. little switcheroo yeah. going on. Yeah, but then after a while, it just, I don't know. That, I feel like, has more... I like something that has like the spring a, broke and now every he's time he's disabled. Lo- yeah. <laughs> so you like that they're like that, that's another thing that, that, I found, that I found with him <laughs> through the through the times we did his podcast where it was one of the things I felt like drew you to things was that the history of thing or a story behind it. Like you're the story guy. Like and so there's a story in that yeah. for that's what makes it interesting to you also. Yeah. So this guy's got a little of the the weird curiosity <laughs> vibe thing that you guys got. It's not weird. Well, it's pretty it's normal. It's not weird. Yeah. You, like not very you got weird. dead baby pictures. He wants us. the story of a kid drowning in the sea. Made I don't by know a, why you got to make this a, out to be something it already is. This is this person. First of all, they should. I, it's I, a great I, bathroom piece. Is all I'm saying. I would be so. 100%. I would be yeah. so disappointed with my son's death if that's all we got out. Of, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I would want. I'd be Merch. like, come on. This is that would be that. I'd feel worse about. That being the thing that I was remembering my son by, then him actually drowning. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be more disappointed in that. You know what I'm saying? Because this, there's a re, this somebody could have fixed this. The other one was just an act of God, because God hated my kid. But <laughs> <laughs> Owen was hanging from a monkey. Can bar. I text? I'm gonna text <laughs> Owen right now and tell him <laughs> the hell's going on. He's not gonna be shocked at all. The, my son. I love that. I think somebody made that themselves and then put the little hair in there and that that's the way they you, they had no f- photography is not a, they probably had like a sibling and they're like we're gonna do this to remind you what your brother did wrong he Ooh. wasn't supposed to go into See, the ocean even if that was the truth then i would kind of like that too right you know what yeah, i mean that's true this now is the reason feel like we a, don't go into the ocean they made me you made me feel like a tinge of like like thinking like somebody that really loved that kid i thought i was thinking they farmed that out to an artist and they were like here's the hair but somebody that I can understand now why they would think that looked good. There are tears in their eyes. They, they have I can't believe it took you this long to realize that. <laughs> like the pierce- have you read any of the books that you've read? It's like the Grinch no, right now. No, I mean, like, I don't are think. Are you paying I don't attention think this at all? I don't think this girl's aunt was like, hey, I do hair art. You know what I mean? They had to go get this done. So I was They thinking- went, the, the child died at 19 years old, Marietta, and they, they took the hair and they went down and tears in their eyes and it probably had to be helped through the door because they were so emotionally distraught and you were standing there nitpicking and making fun of their <laughs> shoes or whatever you know what i mean um talking about oh black that's real you know creative and uh <laughs> you know and then they paid someone to do that i mean i would rather someone hand do it themselves i'm assuming they, they okay. might have paid that's what i'm saying that. i have a different you made me feel but different. either way they lost a child Marietta was a bald bitch when she was buried, and that's upsetting me now because now I'm realizing that. It's making me very nervous how that's balanced on those books. Thank you. The shadow box. That's making me very nervous. Thank you, Seth. He has... Not the context. He has... (laughs) I fall to my death for the second time. He has a six-foot bowl on top of a bunch of precarious stuff in his house, and his son loves the big bowl thing, (laughs) and he's like... Literally, on one of his episodes we were talking about, I was like, do you have this something really anchoring this down, like some weight on the other side. He's like, no, no, no. And I was like, what if your son gets it? And he's like, ah, it's, it's up high. So he's out of his reach. Like he could literally Rugrats that shit. pull that climbing. shit down on himself. He's like, oh, it's, it's not far enough off the ground that it would really hurt the thing. Like, or something, right? It was something like that where you're like, it's high enough off the ground that it, 
It was, I said, it I don't it, think he could hurt it. Yeah, that's exactly what he <laughs> said. And I didn't mean it like I don't care about my <laughs> yeah. child. You know what I mean? I do. And in my defense, hands. look, this is sitting right here, propped against books that are sliding off. And this has got a small lip that it'll pop up and go right down. Yeah, this so let's just not break it. Yeah. Perfectly on okay. top of a stack of books. Look, going nowhere. So you can't get another one. Yes, God. Hey. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Lord. That, that's officially my favorite part. Uh, that is not. <laughs> Did your genitals quench a little oh, bit? A little bit. Okay. Uh, a little bit. Apparently, I love that more than my son. Uh, <laughs> that I'm was a, just that was just Simmons rude. It's gonna uh, come full circle. Tom's gonna puke and then slip on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Hold it up, Tom. <laughs> I saw the back of him. Restroom radio. Restroom radio. Solid state, full circuit toilet dispenser radio for complete private enjoyment. <laughs> Except for everybody within hearing distance. <laughs> You're already criticizing this great yeah. invention? Oh, my God. It's a beautiful invention. This, so they should update this with like an Alexa or like a, you know what I mean? But first of all. They're doing it under. This is under. I can't exactly. stand that mm. shit. I was about to get. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. that really bugs me. They did only that. comics. Only comics would sit there and ridicule this. No. Because no. of the placement of the paper. Is there actually? No. Is Fuck there actually that. a? It's over all the time. How, oh man, that guy You'll, was probably so proud when so, he was like, "Let's put the toilet paper." No. In the radio. See? <laughs> somebody designed it, patented it. Somebody had to make that box. Look at the someone bottom. Listened to, someone Look listened what it's called on the bottom. Oh, little my ass right now. <laughs> little John. <laughs> little John. Oh God. That's perfect. He doesn't know anything about Little John. <laughs> he hates, you know who Little John is? What are you talking about? You know who Little John is? What, Little John the blues musician? <laughs> I was thinking of Come Robin on, Hood. Perry. <laughs> is he a rapper or something? Yes. I don't know anything oh, about, about The only John. thing I know about small, rapping is Tom will shut up about it. <laughs> small toilets. Tom's like, I'm cool. I'm hip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in there. Of course it is. Oh, it's got the styrofoam and everything. Come on. So man. why don't right. you have this at your house? Do you use this at your house? You I dismantled it to bring it why to Tom. Why would you not use it if you have it? Because I'm not single. Because we're, talk, we're talking about this it This is right a very, now. yeah. This is what it's for. Ew. <laughs> I can't. Prime. Single. This is, I don't even want to take it out of this because. You can. Because even the style. Yeah, the the shit. perfect. Yeah, Marietta's head is hurting in the grave because you shook the damn hair art so hard. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh. He's like, oh, the toilet radio. Uh, yeah. I don't even want to. I don't even want to take the styrofoam off this. Oh, my God. This thing is genius. Who, Elon Musk's oh great grandfather God. invented this. Oh. Yes. The hair art is beautiful. I'm and just this saying this thing is in mint condition no. all the way down how, to. How shall wild. I fit my Charmin Mega Roll on that mm. little yes. bitty? Mm -hmm. I got ass to wipe. I don't have radio to <laughs> this, listen to. These kind of logistic questions annoy the shit out of me. I literally, you buy the I've toilet the paper. <laughs> you buy the toilet paper that fits that because that is better than any paper you can possibly uh -oh. buy. Please break it. I want one of them to break. I kind of want to. Is, does, is it battery operated? Yeah, it's. <laughs> no, it's solar. It, <laughs> in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Methane. Yeah, when Tom yeah. breaks something, that's I'm out of. My here. radio's always on. <laughs> this is this is so old. I can't believe it's such cheap plastic. <laughs> if it's battery operated, we gotta. But that up. you know what? This that's really breaks the because like I always hear that thing where it's like, oh, what did people do when they took a shit without their phones? But I've never heard <gasps> this before. Ooh. Like I've never heard of a radio being right by the toilet. Is it battery up I have a, we have an yeah, Alexa. Yeah, the battery. Oh, I don't have any 9 volts. We have a little like Alexa like ball or whatever like it sits in there with the it's got a clock. You can listen to the music while you're in the on the shower. But can on you put your toilet paper shower. in it? Huh? But can you put your toilet paper in it? No, I wouldn't want to. No. I'm what? Saying, Alexa, hold my toilet paper. Alexa. Because these three knobs squares, are, the please. knobs are always going to have <laughs> Ew. poo flakes or whatever on Come the Come on. Knobs. I'm I know you. I've known you a very long time. You're liking this. You are all about that. You won't stop playing with it. You've already opened it and broken it. You like this. That's I'm it. upset that there's only one attachment in the back. There's mm. one nail spot for it to hang on the wall. And if I have to pull the toilet paper off, that is coming off the wall. How Look. rough are you grabbing the toilet paper? Well, Look, there's I directions mean, right mind here. Mind your business. There's <laughs> directions right here that talk, talk about installation. <laughs> also, was there pink Pass toilet the paper back around. then? Is that a thing? That's a good question. Is that just I wonder a stylistic they, choice? Yeah, I wonder if it's a style or Pink what? and blue looks good, so I get it. But. Yeah. 
It's hi-fi, hi-fi deluxe. I like the, I like where your mind went with that. I wouldn't. Even I don't have like where her that. mind went with that at all. She is putting <laughs> function ahead of art. Oh, yeah, because if you're, po- oh, you're talking about like it's shaken off when you're. Just yes. But angry. the idea yes. was behind this was not art. It was function. The fact that you see it as art is a. That's is totally a, art. It Except is, for the styrofoam, the rest it of it is to art. you. Yeah. The guy who invented this as a functional product is like, no, dude, this is a Unless functional product. Unless that toilet paper was not pink and he designed it pink, and then that's pure art. <laughs> it just blows my. That does blow. My I'm gonna mind. give you the let, give you the experience of pulling it out of the box and everything, just like you would. Nick, just you like, would buy that, am box. I right? Oh yeah. yeah. Mainly just because it's it's one of those. It's kind of like a good joke when you're just like. Yeah, that's a good secret saying. Oh my God, this was. Yes. This, this is so e- like of course so it's one pissed. of those things you're like of course of course yeah that humans f- did this at some point see that interests me too that Solid that state. one of the things when i saw this I that i thought i'm buying this is human beings were never done it's like we just <laughs> we just will not stop we, we you know we're shitting outside in a in a box and then we finally get indoor plumbing and then we're like oh this is great for like what Four or five days, and then we're like, oh, I wish there was a radio in here. <laughs> Do you remember where you found this? Uh, and was there a stack of them? No, because I only own one. If there was more, you'd have bought us all they had? Of course. <laughs> really? Yes. Hoarding all the toilet paper yes. radios. I mean, it was. I'm surprised I, this wasn't. I don't worth remember thing, how much it cost, but it was four or five bucks, something like that. Like, I'm surprised kids in the 80s didn't have these. Yeah. I mean, the thing's awesome. <laughs> Seems like a very also 80s thing. <laughs> yeah. What year? No. What year was it? It's got to be, uh, look what, in the box. early oh, no. 70s? Looks, yeah, it looks like 70s. a 70s packaging. I can't yeah. find a year on it, though. I bought um, 15 Mitt Romney Chia Pet heads. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, 15? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And That's not a thing you did. I, 100% I did. I can prove it, too. Was each just one a little bit different? It was just 14. <laughs> no, I just, it, Christmas was coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Send them with no seeds. It's There's a baby mm. on the back of that CD case that you keep shuffling through, and it's too soon. We've been talking about dead babies all episode. <laughs> I, that little baby keeps Who is this dead up. baby on your comedy CD? Who is that? That is not a dead baby. That is my daughter niece. Excuse me? Your I daughter's donated name sperm is niece? to my sister and her wife so they could have a baby. Oh. And that is my daughter niece. Can I ask you a personal question? <laughs> How'd you donate? <laughs> <laughs> How did you donate? Awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, hurry. Which one was pregnant? Which one got pregnant? Your sister? Ew. No. Oh, come on, Tom. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Are you just pointing? Are you, he's now just pointing to the word dumbest guy in the room. This is a podcast. So You're did pointing you, to a word. Did you do like a turkey baster? Um, you guys, it, you? I, it was not my sister. Okay. I'm Kentucky. I'm not that Kentucky. <laughs> it was not my sister. It was not a turkey baster either. Is this the joke and the story that got you punched in Macon? <laughs> no. In Macon, I said I was an atheist. And then he proved to me God exists by punching me. Oh, really? Yeah. You should forgive him. Saw the light. (laughs) I I went in there and read an inspiring quote from my friend Tom Simmons that made me feel better until I heard the whoopee cushion. Does that make you feel better about this picture, by the way? That that's that's his... uh... Alive baby, yeah. Yeah. What did you... How do you say it? Your baby niece? My daughter niece? Daughter niece, Daughter niece. My daughter niece. I'm an uncle baby daddy. Okay, <laughs> maybe you need to let let some of that. Yeah, that go. sounds Kentucky. <laughs> it is. Right. Good, yeah. Uncle baby daddy. <laughs> they asked me if I would uh, donate, and I said yes. Um, Did you have some of the same only organic we had sense. Immediately? More thinking about it. No, I didn't. I, I don't. Yeah. May, so I they may have the same genes, but yeah, because like if it's your sister, in the sense of like that's the closest to her that she can get. As yeah. Like Yes. So, uh, yeah, it actually makes a lot of sense. But also, yeah. fucking your sibling's spouse is also pretty righteous. I don't think yeah. he had to do well, that. Yeah, I think, yeah, he, I think no, they he probably did artificial he had to. insemination. <laughs> he had to. Is you this, save money that way. Do you know how expensive it would be to go jizz in a room mm. for a doctor to collect yeah. it and then shove it up somebody and be like, fingers crossed? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Is that how you did it? It went down? Yes. The doctor Although way? I didn't exactly use the description that you used on that. But yeah, 
I, it, it you was did a, it or you went to a doctor? There was a doctor's appointment. Wow. Okay, oh, good. Okay. They it. made it. You just agreed with her that you had sex with her. Oh, no, I did too not. Expensive. No. No, I did not. Would you have? Oh, my God. No. 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 Her wife is ugly. No, it's not that. I wouldn't have because. Because um, you might close your eyes and picture your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I like, oh, I keep thinking I've always been in competition jokes, with my sister. How can you not? <laughs> the rhythm of this podcast is great. There's a question asked, two words of an answer, an interruption, and then a sex joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually it's I'm, great. I, that's how I produced it. I have it like, like that. <laughs> no. it's great. It's going Seth, like, see if you can <laughs> somehow follow the rhythm of this. So let's see. Here's what we're gonna do. We're every gonna edit question, out all that and just every start question over. that has been asked since who is this kid on the back of your CD has been questioned. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then there's been jizz and sister and uh, whatever else. <laughs> What were the last two? Hey, again? man, I'm not the one that provided my sister with a baby, man. I just got questions on right. yeah. I fucked the old fashioned Christian way, man. What? Like, <laughs> never mind. Well, she's saying, <laughs> I knew that was a black guy? Uh, she's yeah. saying you could have saved a ton of money. Yeah. On your car. Yeah. Oh, but. By <laughs> fucking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm having a blast all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> uh, so, I do not know how much it cost. It was very expensive. I did not yeah. pay for it. Of course you didn't. You were the guest of honor. Oh, you're paying for it right now. <laughs> right. Yeah. I had, yeah, plus I... She's yeah. got my beard. <laughs> 